it's too early and too hot for ooze. But I give you a small one. <laughs> oh man, I'm so uh, freaking hot right now. Stop complaining, Mike. You just found this. Ooh, yes. Ooh, Ooh moment. Oh, oh, oh my god, man. Yes, we are back, back in Berlin. Hey, good morning, people. We're back in the German forest. I'm having some time off with my family right now. And uh, it's close to a, a spot where I was uh, like two years ago with my buddy Patrick. Um, we found all these beautiful Kriegsmarine buttons, like the German Navy buttons, wartime Navy buttons. Um, so I decided to come back here because last time I was here, I wasn't finished yet. So uh, let's see what we can find. Got some good news because we are in a good spot. We are. This beautiful Creek's Marine button. The shank is broken off. That's too bad, but hey. I think this one actually has some more, some, some gold paint left. I was expecting navy stuff. Not freaking. Luftwaffe insignias or color tabs or what you want to call it. Let me just try and zoom in for you. Jeez, this camera. And okay, let me just put it like this and I hope you can see it a bit better. Yeah. Actually, not even too far away from the, where, the, where the bottom was. Let me just show you. Because my little baby shovel is right there, my back is there, and there was the navy button. So yeah, again, didn't expect to find this, so I'm very happy with this. It's too early and too hot for ooze, but I'll give you a small one. <laughs> oh man, I'm so uh, freaking hot right now. Stop complaining, Mike, you just found this. German dog tag. And there's, there's some writing on there. S T B T T R. Sorry, this is annoying mosquito flying around my head right now. We find a couple of these now, um, but the reason why I show you this because I don't want to show you every of these buttons I find. I'll, I'll do a little roundup uh, in like a half an hour or so. But um, I've been doing good, um, and this one came out, and this one is a bit different than the rest. The rest of them are or uh, you know brownish copper color or golden, but this one seems to be. Or silver colored and I haven't seen these before so I'm quite curious if, if it's just uh, what the soil did to the paint or if there actually were these silver Kriegsmarine buttons hey it's button day today and just found this number two which I also have to do by the way but I don't want to get it in it right now but yeah, I haven't found them. I've been finding a lot of buttons, green green buttons. You saw, you saw those. Um, but this is your first. It's a beautiful number two. Yeah, it's another one of those beautiful buttons. I found lots of them just, you know, last past hour. But I'll show you 
a roundup uh, in a while. Give me some time. But anyway, I just found another one. I was trying to get it out and, you know, didn't want to come out, but now I see why. Because there is a little root that hang into it. I just was, I thought it was just fun to show you that, you know. What are the odds from a root growing through this little tiny shank? But yeah. Another one of those. I've been hunting now for three hours, no, two and a half hours. And uh, let me just show you that I wasn't full of donkey doo doo when I uh, told you I found loads of these buttons. Let me just give you a roundup for now, okay? After two and a half hours. Um, not bad, not bad. Some junk. This tent ring, the hooks, the belt hooks, the Wehrmacht uniform buttons with the dimples, and these Kriegsmarine buttons that are. You know, they're nice, but not the best. These are the best. And again, I wasn't lying, right? When I told you I found loads of these buttons. And that Luftwaffe collar insignia, that's nice. I detect, love finding these. And uh, yeah, the little mystery find. So yeah, that's the roundup for now. Two and a half hours, not bad, Mikey. It's part number two, we're back. Uh, we came back uh, the next day. Um, and because I struck gold, my uh, wife and son decided to come with me uh, for some mental support. And uh, you know, just a couple of hours digging. And the iron lady's right there, digging away. And my son is right there, he's still asleep. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have some fun, except for my son, he's still asleep. Um, First signal of the day is right here. And I think it's a uh, Kriegsmarine button. Let's just see. I'll show you. And the Iron Lady, her first signal of the day. I can't believe it. It's a squirrel's hockey stick. <laughs> it is. Good find. In the golden button forest, you managed to find this. That's actually a pretty. Uh, well, pretty really challenging thing. Well, the missus finds hockey sticks. I found this. You've seen it before, so I'm uh, not gonna tell you much about it, but that it's my first find of the day. And the missus just found her first golden button. Wanna clean it up? Here, it's a brush. Doesn't focus. Yeah, there is. Yeah, it's nice. Your first one. Thank you. And I shine to the back. Yeah, go then. <laughs> Let's just call it beginner's luck. Or I'm just not a very good metal detectorist because where I was yesterday, um, the Iron Lady is detecting now. And she says, hey Mike, I uh, think I found a little flower. And I'm like, what? She's picking flowers. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me just show you guys what, what this is all about. Oh my God, man. This is beginner's luck. Let's just call it beginner's luck, okay? Or I'm a rubbish metal detectorist. Because this, if you don't know, this is a, a cap emblem for a... Uh, a Gebirgsjäger, a German World War II Gebirgsjäger, which is like a mountain division. These were special forces, in a way. Oh my god, man. Never found this, so... Uh, a first... Not even a first for me. I really didn't find it, but... My god, man. She did well.
during World War II, the German Gebirgsjäger, or mountain troops, were a light infantry unit selected and trained for combat in Arctic, mountain and desert terrain. Its divisions were lightly equipped with much of the transport provided by mules. The Gebirgsjäger units were identified by the Edelweiss insignia worn on their sleeves and their caps. Together with the Fallschirmjäger or paratrooper units, they are perceived as the elite infantry units of the German army. Well, I've been finding buttons, but also the golden ones. The missus just found a moustache. Nice. Very nice. And my son is happy too because he found a beautiful rock. Well done, buddy. Well, I found something nice. Let me just show you. Just give me a sec to uh, see if the camera focuses because I got the little screen on the, on the wrong side here. There it is. Ooh. -hoo -hoo -hoo. Never seen this before. Uh, of course, it's it's navy something. Let me just try to show you the back. All right, all right, there it is. It's got these little pins on it, so it might be a cap badge. Um, well, uh, obviously, I can find out what this is, so uh, I'll show you a picture of it right now. But yeah, this is cool. Yes, this is why we're here for the beautiful finds like these. Awesome, awesome. Very happy with this. Never found this before. So I'm very, very happy with this. So this is the end of part two of the video. We're like at it like one and a half hours or so. Nobody responds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We had it like one and a half hours, it's getting hot. So uh, we started to call it a day. And uh, I've, I've got everything we found laying on this little tree stump. And let me just show you what the miss has been finding. This of course, which we think is modern. And uh, she found a couple of uh, these beautiful buttons. And of course the Edelweiss and the Luftwaffe insignia. Well, not bad. It's her first time metal detecting, so well done. Um, and this is me, a couple of buckles, loads of these small Kriegsmarine buttons, the beautiful ones, the golden ones, which when you just rinse them off, the gold color comes back. And of course, a little beautiful anchor. So uh, I'll let you decide who's won. I think it's me, but this is beautiful. I put out a little poll so you can decide, okay? Just tell me who won. Oh, my son found this beautiful rock, yeah. That's a winner. Yesterday when we left, we, I still have some signals, so uh, I just came back to the exact same, same spot. Why look for another spot if there are so many things here? So uh, yeah, we're gonna deal with uh, a lot of buttons, I hope, and uh, maybe some other beautiful things. Let's just see. We need a mega ooh to, uh, you know, to round up the video. Let's see if we can find that. And I found another one of those um, yesterday or two days ago, I think it was. I found them right there. The camera focuses right there, as you can see, still my you know, digging marks. And um, yeah, I did some research on the internet, so I know what it is. It's a, a little buckle to secure the Kriegsmarine dagger, parade dagger, to the uniform. You know, they had it on their, on their side, like, uh, you know, like so. And uh, the buckle would be here, the dagger would be swinging next to their white uniforms probably, but 
yeah this is what it is so I need to find a dagger now I'm gonna sweep this area and hope I can find it that would be uh, the biggest ooh of the video right next to the clasp the golden clasp I found this 50 euro coin and uh, these are Norwegian coins or this is a Norwegian coin and this is a uh, I can't see a date, I hope you can, but I can't. Anyway, it's a nice find because I haven't been finding much coins. The only coins I've found so far are very small and unreadable. But uh, this one is nice. It's zinc, you know, it's not the best of quality, but uh, I don't care, it's a nice coin. I thought uh, I had another button, but um, the pit just went deeper. Like here you can see it been pretty dark there but i felt something and this came out um, which i grabbed and pulled and i could feel some tension so it came off of something and i feel something if you can hear it it's like a little aluminium box or something that's what i feel but um yeah i'm gonna dig it out and show you guys gonna be some hard work because the ground is pretty solid here give me a sec or two the hole is getting bigger and deeper and uh, this comes out now so this is a true trash pit and uh, what got me excited was this if you can hear it it's a little container I'm not gonna open it now I'll do it at home with a little oil if it if it's any interesting in it, if it, if there's anything interesting in it, I will show you guys. If not, then it's just probably some dried up gooey stuff. Also interesting was this Bakelite piece of a Bakelite butter box, a comb, tube, and now this came out. I don't know if the camera shows well enough but let me just show you like this this is shoulder board what the officer or soldier would wear on their shoulder a German shoulder board and there's more I can feel a bottle and all different stuff here like a piece of leather right there so yeah I have to do some digging let's see if I can pull something out with you together I can feel a bottle very deep. At least the top. Yeah. Oh, I think it come, comes loose. Let's, let me just do this together. If it, yeah, it comes. Oh, nice. Still one piece. Beer bottle, yeah, for sure. This is a beer bottle. So they had a nice party here. Anything nice on it? No. Oh, still a bringer. Let me see if I can reach for more. Oh, there's something here. Damn it. This is hard work with one hand. Let me just pause you. I just dug this out. Sorry, a bit out of breath. But what the hell is this? It's like, I don't know, what the hell is this? <laughs> this is uh, truly one of the most uh, puzzling things I ever found. Hmm. If you know, let me know guys. I don't know, I don't know. Well, there are things coming out of the hole still. Let me just show you all the rubbish finds I found there and these are the little better finds. I already showed you the, the nicer ones but man I thought this was a belt with a belt buckle. Got me all excited but still I don't know. Oh there's even a little like a belt here. Belt. What the hell is this? Anyway one of you must know. Let me know okay. Help me out. And the pit just keeps going on and on and on. There's so much more. There's so much more. And uh, looking at the surface right here, 
and didn't notice that before but well I think you don't don't see it on camera but there's a slight you know like I'm sitting in a ditch you can see it by the tree perhaps there uh, the soil is sunken down and um, I just swing my detector right here and I have so many signals here so I think this is actually where I'm sitting now and all around me is uh, is one big dump um, so it's just too much for uh, for one guy in the freaking heat and um, I'll be back here I got the GPS coordinates and uh, uh, my buddy Patrick who I need to need to thank by the way for uh, arranging this permission for me so thank you so much buddy appreciate it uh, we'll come back here together okay let's take this out together and um, yeah besides the things I already showed you nothing much came out besides a lot of these uh, cans which makes sense right because uh, when you dump something back in the days usually it's cans and uh, broken items but also I really enjoy the shoulder board so that's a, that's a nice uh, extra to this trip because we've been finding loads of buttons but now something you know something different that's nice the bottle and the mystery item and uh, well some leather came out but yeah this is this is just a great place you know I'm not gonna top that I'm gonna just metal detect some more around here to see if I can find some buttons if not this was the end of the video guys uh, hope you enjoyed it um, again I've been finding so much here but that I'll, I'll do a giveaway okay just give me some time to set it up but I'll do it uh, go to the Facebook page or Instagram page and uh, hope to see you guys there thank you for watching take care and just on a side note there are some people that call me an idiot and I usually think yeah screw you or something you know um, but this time uh, they're actually right this is just the dump pit I covered up very nicely as you can see and um, I just walked to my bag and I saw that I have an empty pouch for my digging tool and the last time I saw it was down there